Coloradans love our state. We slap the flag on bumper stickers that stuck on hats, tattooed on some bodies, not mine, maybe yours. But there is always something special about watching an outsider's eyes light up at the sight of our state and its people. Our photojournalist Mike Grady took Carly Danick from our sister station in Minneapolis for a little adventure in Crested Butte. The only way I can imagine enjoying the mountains is getting out in them. I think you're going to like this shot a lot. Snowshoeing is a good start. <laughs> this is Crested Butte. It's an adorable mountain town in Colorado. And this past weekend, it was inundated with fat bikes. Fat bikes are the best. That's the voice of Mike Grady. <laughs> That's Mike. And that's his fat bike. His excitement for the race is the reason I am here. <laughs> and he is the one carrying the camera in his backpack. Fat Bike Worlds has several races throughout the week, but the big race is on Saturday. Riders from all over the world race either 16 or 32 miles at the base of Mount Crested Butte. It's great. It's, it's physically brutal and visually astounding. So you have a really beautiful view of the mountains the whole time, and you're just surrounded by them. Um, you can see kind of the different racers, who's in front of you, where they are on the course, because it's so open, which is really cool. His costumes are great. We had Lieutenant Daniel, I believe, is what the dude who called himself rocking the shorts. There's dudes in suits. Oh, Scooby-Doo's there. What's up, Scooby-Doo? <laughs> you know? Ideally, you have a nice packed, pretty hard course. If it's, if the snow is loose, it's kind of like sand and it's hard to get traction, it's hard to pedal, it's hard to turn. I wiped out pretty good a couple times. It was, it was twice in the same spot. It's such a fun atmosphere, it's such a fun race. It's, if you, even fat biking itself is just really fun. Fat Bike Worlds! Grady was back out in the mountains on his fat bike today. He wanted me to share that. That's his good news.